It's the Midweek Roundup. So welcome to the Midweek Roundup. We've got Nick joining us this week and we'll get straight into looking at your fantastic paintwork over the last week or so. First up, we have David Hall's Mutant Rat Fiend. Now, I picked this because I love dark and dingy, gritty, horrible paint schemes, and I thought this was absolutely top-notch in, in that terms. It almost, in a complimentary way, looks like it's been left in a cupboard to gain dust for a few weeks. Um, I think it's really well done. I really like the shading on it. I think that's excellent. And yeah. the, the, the sort of, you can see the leathery effect of, it's been done on the arm there. Really nice, yeah. little glint in its eye as well. It looks like you don't want to touch it. Like it looks, <laughs> it looks as grimy as you would expect it, it to in real life. Sneaking out of a sewer somewhere. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it's a really fantastic job. And from Dark and Dinger we go super bright. Um, these are Asterian Army done in a metallic green. Um, I'd love to get hold of Foggy and see if we can get some closer up images for next week. Because um, th this is the image that we found. It's his full army, but to to see some close up details would be great. Because uh, it almost it looks, looks super... like it's been inked over a, a metallic base coat, doesn't Possibly, it? Possibly, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's got that sort of brown, yeah, yeah. sort of shade to the green. Is that, is it's that a lava base on his spectra as well. It is, yeah, yeah. I think oh, he's. I love he's a good lava few, base. Yeah, he's done that across a few of the uh, the bases. I think, yeah. That's cool. That's very nice. And then, uh, yes. These uh, weapon platforms, the Ratkin, uh, or Vimin, sorry, uh, weapon platforms, and really nice edge highlighting. Yeah, absolutely. I quite like the bases as well, some nice tufts. It's uh, very dusty as well, and I like the, I think there's a bit of weathering powder used on the wheels as well. Yeah, it looks it, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a nice mix of really sharp, crisp paintwork, but then yeah. also... I really like how the rivers spot on that, on that the shield weathering. as well. Yeah. Yeah, and some nice scenery in the background too. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin Haney's done a GCPS Trooper. It's really nice. Uh, yeah, that's uh, nice tones, isn't it? Good like detail. The yellows yeah. and browns. Yep. Some get, definite. Some, get some good edge highlighting. Some different camo there. Yeah. Rather than you just your regular green. I like the base as well. Like, that's a nice tuft. Yeah, it's uh, fun to see that the sort of the alien floor, isn't it? Yeah, some alien floor uh, on the base. That's nice to see. Um, yeah, really, really, really nice uh, vibrant colour just makes the. Mm -hmm. The model pop as well, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I'd like to see a, a whole table done like that. A whole table of alien flora. That'd be cool. Yeah. Um, Max K has done these halflings. Um, this is why we love Kings of War, being able to do dynamic diorama bases, as it were. We've uh, got the fence in front from the terrain crate kit. I wouldn't have um, said that that um, that colour scheme, the pink and yellow. That, I don't find that too bad, actually. Yeah, if, if you'd have said, I'm painting my halflings pink and yellow, you'd be like, oh, but actually, yeah, so it works, works really nicely. well, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's not so. offensive. Oof. That was his joke. I started. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, when I tell a pun, I think it's the funniest thing in the world. When I hear a pun, yeah, yeah. it's the cringiest Absolutely. thing in the world. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm Mitch sorry. T has been blowing out the water again, much like these uh, worms. Um, fantastic painting on these two. Um, I like the, the different colours as well. Got the the black and red, and then the, yeah. the more traditional blue. Yeah, it's good. It's a nice contrast. Yeah. Um, I really, I really like the. It's, it's got some nice thick, thick basing on there. I'll mm. go back to that. But the the actual like shading and highlighting of the scales on the chest of both those worms just absolutely spot on. Yeah, really it's like stunning, it. isn't it? Yeah. It's really good. Pete Jones has been making some fun conversions. He's been using the Northern Alliance Klansmen with the GCPS to create these uh, these Winter Soldier sort of uh, GCPS soldiers. I do love a good kit bash. Yeah, that's really good. Uh, look like they can survive any cold weather conditions. Definitely, yeah. If I, if I remember the quote rightly, I saw that he'd said uh, it took lots of hours. Lots of snipping and lots of swearing, <laughs> um, but it, it looks fantastic, doesn't it? Yeah, Pete's so, done a brilliant job yeah. on those. Really like it. Really looking good. Looking looking forward to seeing them painted as well. Yeah, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And then Stephen has painted this interceptor. Absolutely fantastic. Um, like that he's kept it in keeping with his kitchen as well. Don't know if that was <laughs> intentional or not. Um, we had some uh, pots and some uh, buckets of. 
julep. Yeah, just over. just add some juleps like knocking about. Yeah, no, it, it looks really. <laughs> uh, to be fair, I really like the crisp color on it. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, uh, I think it's a lovely orange. I think it's grey or maybe it's a, it's a it's a bluey grey. Yeah, maybe. It's, uh, yeah, bluey grey and then an actual grey and then like a, a yellowy orange. Really nice crisp. So, yeah. I like the contrast mm. between the two colours and it's it's really well painted. Mm. It's a it's a great vehicle for doing those sort of blocky edge painting, isn't it? You know, you've you've yeah, painted one as yeah. well similar to with the grey yeah, and orange. Yeah. So, yeah, some very nice so ones. it takes very well to painting it in different colours. I played I played some firefighters at the weekend and these things were beastly. Yeah. Really, really terrifying. Yep. Awesome, lovely, lovely model. Uh, lastly, we've got some Veermin. Um, Third rats we've seen on this yeah, season, isn't it? It's, uh, it's been quite a heavy sci-fi uh, week this week. That's cool. uh, which is uh, great to see. See the firefighters yeah, still yeah. Uh, roaring ahead. Um, these are really great. I, I love that the uh, they've gone for the, the sort of the yellow that we see on the box art and that sort of thing. But then uh, the green really just makes them a little bit different. Sort of similar uh, to our vault chaser. Popular. Uh, yeah, scheme, isn't yeah, it? yeah. It's, uh, yeah, that, that green is really vibrant, and it just just helps make the uh, the rest of the model. Pop. Yeah, yeah. I really like the highlighting that's on the on the yellow of the armor mm. there. That's brilliant. Mm. I'm a big fan as well of particularly for sci-fi using uh, black sand or, or mm. that sort of to give it, whether it be actually black sand or be roads or urban sort of environment. But I just always think that that really. Helps the model as well. Yeah, um, if you've got a bright model, then a dark base really helps yeah. the model pop. E even a dark model as well, I think. Yeah. It's, uh, it, it can sometimes, it draws you to the model rather than to the base. Yeah, yeah, um, absolutely. Whereas sometimes a vibrant base can, can be a bit, bit distracting. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, fantastic that. That is awesome. it for this week. We'll uh, be back again next week. Remember to uh, keep using the hashtag MyMantic if you want to be featured on the uh, on the show hopefully get some uh, some more painting done in the next week or so and hopefully see some more fantasy and some more armada as well so awesome. thank you for Absolutely. nick for helping me out no, thank, you. We'll thank you thank you for having me john johnny see you later guys take care bye